I thought I'd make um, another video uh, after the first one I made um, two days ago actually um, and I, um, I had a look and I, I hear the, the background noise it's very um, kind of loud I'm next to a um, little river that's where the noise coming from it's not actually my camera there's a little river here Right there. I thought I'd show you. I'll try to edit it out. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, so back to back to Polaris Sportsman. The topic. Couple of things I left uh, I left out uh, from the first video. I thought I, I, I talk about those. Um, now also. I'm with clients actually, uh, I work for an adventure company, so we have all these uh, RZR Polaris, which uh, have the same engine as the, as the Sportsman, the 570, and um, I wanted to add a few things to the first video. Um, our problem started with the, with the Sportsman. Um, into 2,000 kilometers, uh, they just they just couldn't go slow. The only way uh, one of them uh, run is <coughs> full gas. Um, we didn't know what it was. Uh, the main dealer who sold it to us, they didn't know. For months and months, we we're not using it. All last season, we didn't use that uh, quad number two. And also in the first video, I I, um, I stated it falsely that uh, it was 2020 because it's now it's 2021. The quads are from 2020, so the last season. This is the second season we're using it. 2021 August. Um, so eventually, uh, it was sorted, kind of. They changed. Um, the filter, uh, the fuel filter, which is in the tank. Apparently, they take a lot of dust because we use them uh, for adventures, and uh, uh, we go in, in the dust. And uh, somehow the dust gets into the in, into the fuel uh, fuel system. Don't ask me how. And blocks blocks the filter, which then leads to killing the, the fuel pump. So the fuel pump was dead. The filter was dirty. They changed that, and uh, still doesn't seem to run fine. There are a lot of other things uh, which I, I read online. The possible uh, things uh, can go wrong with these, mainly the different sensors. Um, I made a list of, of that, which I collected. It could be the ignition switch, it could be the voltage regulator, it could be a battery if it's old or um, doesn't uh, supply sufficient uh, energy, it could be the throttle position sensor, it could be the throttle safety switch pin that they, they're touching each other. So there's a lot of things, so mainly electronics. Uh, but I, I'm wrong with these, with these things, but as I stated in the first video, I think uh, if you maintain them well, um, some of these problems will not happen. And with the engines, I think they are bulletproof. We, uh, they are the same engines in the, in the buggies, they are 600 kilos. Our clients constantly trashing them. Cold, hot, we go in August, July, we are in Spain. The engines are super hot. Uh, they run like that. Only had one engine failure last year, but only because uh, I was new at this company and um, I didn't uh, check, or not just me, other colleagues, uh, the oil level. We have to check it every day, every morning, because we use them a lot. Metal, pedal to the metal with all the clients all day. And uh, one of them ran out of oil, and that's why the engine failed. But other than that, all engines are running. This one, which I told you last time, now I put 
150 more kilometers on it, so it's nice 10,150 uh, kilometers without a foot change, still running. And also, not only the engine oil should be changed, oil in the gearbox, oil in the differential, nothing is done. Nothing is done, it still runs. The belt, nothing has been looked at, nothing has been checked. The only one, uh, what, what is this? Uh, which I, I I hear I feel a little vibration could be something the belt is not uh, not perfect. All the other three are, are fine. And as I said, high mileage, constant crashing. Um, so that's 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 that. And um, the other things I wanted to say I made a little list because I forget. Um, what I. Uh, like so much is this one takes I measured it twice and always the same eight liters per hundred kilometers um, for America when you watch the video they say oh it's so fuel efficient maybe for America yes uh, in America all the things are the vehicles are, are big and they, they, they take a lot of fuel here in Europe eight liters for hundred kilometer I think it's a it's a little little too much, you know. My car takes less, um, but on the other hand, we have the Grizzly, the 550 from the Grizzly is from 2010, so it's actually 11 years old. But that takes 10 liters to 100 kilometers. I measured that also. I haven't measured the the buggies yet, but I, I reckon they they're more than eight, in the same engine because they they're much more weight, plus two passengers all the time. Comparing, we had a, a Honda TRX 250. We, we even don't even check the fuel because it, it doesn't use any. It uses maybe two liters. If we have the Raptor, the 350 Yamaha Raptor, that's also much much less. It's, it's an air cooled. It's only 350. I, I haven't measured the Raptor, but I reckon that it's probably less than half of what, what this is. So it's a, it's a lot of fuel. Um, the other thing, uh, because all the, the wheels are in the corners, once you hit the wall, or a client hits the wall, it will never go straight again. Even just a little hit, they go out of line and the thing pulls. It goes to the left, to the right, just, just a little touch, something, you touch, you hit a tree or something, most likely you hit it with the wheel. You have to change everything to put it back to, to, to straight because it will be never just a little millimeter out down there you feel it on the steering wheel and i know we have one which pulls to the left uh, this one only with two people it pulls the you know, one person i don't feel it but guys keep telling me that oh no you know it's from my one hand is much stronger too because we had an accident with it also it was on the side so that's, that's the thing, the very um, kind of fragile, you know. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, um, and also, yeah, yeah, the suspension, the back, um, the rear suspension is... I noticed uh, last year when we had uh, two guys on it, they were kind of always go low. And um, the problem is that they are so powerful, even with two people, they, they go. These things are really go. You, know? you have all the weight at the back. The front is up. There's no weight on the front. So if you give a uh, huge gas and you try to turn, it doesn't turn. It goes straight. So that's what happened twice. Plants hit the wall. <coughs> I know why. You turn the wheel, give the give gas, it goes straight. It doesn't turn in because the weight is at the back. And that doesn't happen with the Grizzly. I had, uh, <coughs> before, I had, uh, the guys were like 100 kilo each, easy, or more. I put them on the Grizzly. The Grizzly took it like a champion, you know? Nothing. If I put the 200 kilo guy on this one, it's all the way down to the, to the bushes. And then you have this problem. So, um, the Grizzly is a much stronger thing, even though it's lighter. These are 300, 
330, 340 kilos, nearly 350. The grizzly is less. It looks bigger, it looks feels heavier, but it somehow the grizzly from 2010 is stronger. Important thing, the grizzly is is made in Japan, uh, like all the other yeah, all the Yamahas we have, the the Raptor 350, the Honda TRX, all made in Japan. These things they are made in Poland, uh, which is a good thing. Um, and as I mentioned in the previous video, the, the quality, if you have a close look, Yamahas are fantastic. If you look, they're done 10 years ago in Japan, it's perfect. They, they, they're just as, as good, uh, but uh, electronics let, them, let these things down. So you need, um, you need a bit of um, experience or um, sense to, to, to find things for, for long. And probably it's gonna be electric. Other than that, perfect. I love them. And as I said, I will buy the the 2022 model, which is will be coming out nice 20, 2021 August. So the day will be out later this year. So um, I think I go for one. And then, um, I'm gonna put more videos and see if they are better. I complained about the. Uh, this year, 2021 model, uh, this, this year's uh, model about, about the front, <coughs> but they put the battery up, up there, which is, which is better because the battery is bigger. Actually, they have the same size of battery. The, the 2021 models, they have the same size of battery as the boogies have, and that's a good thing. They, they need this uh, bigger Empire engines because they have the smaller one. I think it's a 14 and that's like 19 or 20. Uh, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I cut it short. Um, I need to go and pick up the clients actually now. Well, I'm late. Catch you in the next video.